washi tape is used for so many things. Um, we have been using it for um, borders, you know, for our journals, or we've used it for our watercolors. You can put it on the sides of, you know, you can use it for the sides of pages. You could use it to repair tears in your, if you have a um, piece of paper that has a tear in it, you can use it to repair the tears because the washi tapes are so pretty. I mean, they come in this variety of patterns and styles. I like to organize mine by color, just, you know, because it just makes it easier to make designs. I, I seem to tend towards the blues, I've noticed, and the, the next would be pinks and purples, but whatever you have, um, even if you don't have washi tape, we're, I'm going to show you how to make it, um, or how to make a version of it that's really fun and easy. Um, it's also very beautiful, it's actually much more, it's prettier than the tapes that you would buy. So. Um, but I'll, and I'm going, then I'm going to show you how to make these fun little collaged little elements that we will use for journals and all kinds of things, cards, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to move those out of the way. And this is the tape I made this morning using micro micro pour. And I just love the way it came out. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And the, what we need to get for supplies. And if you remember in our past classes, we have done some of these tapes. Uh, decorated tapes if you remember we went crazy and made our own decorated tapes and this is just a double-sided carpet tape or yeah i think it's a no it's just a canvas tape but it's double comes in a roll already with the backing and then you just lay it onto some backing paper or to one of these silicone sheets and you can create tapes of your own and then i was able to cut these down and make thin thinner tapes more like washi tapes so you can make your own decorative tape and it's completely your, your own and nobody else has done it before. So these, this one, these are done, but these are still in process. I haven't finished, but I, I might show you a little bit of what I would, I would do with that. Um, so the first thing I want you to get, if you have anything like is a nonstick something like whether it be wax, I know, I'm not sure wax paper will really work with this, but it may, um, wax paper, if you have just some release paper or just some plastic um, page protectors, something that's going to resist, it's going to keep the tape from sticking. Um, that's what you'll want. Um, the other thing, if you happen to have, this stuff is was in my, it was in my, um, it's called 3M Micro Pour. It was in my medicine cabinet. I really didn't realize what a treasure I had because I never use it. I mean, I've never used Micro Pour tape but I have it because I have it in my little first aid kit. And it's really beautiful. It's like a, it's like made out of a fiber made in it's uh, there's another off brand and I'm going to try that. It was something I bought. I don't know. It's it doesn't feel as sticky, but it's also very fibrous. Um, I'm going to try that, but the micro pore for sure is a really good, it tears really easily. So you can tear it to get those nice soft edges if you want. Um, so if you don't have it, it's good to have in your house, even if you don't have have it to make your own washi tapes. But what I'm going to do is to make some washi tape. I'm just going to put a couple of strands down. I don't want to spend too much time um, doing this with you. I want to be able to also show you the other thing. So but this is just a way if you need you need some scissors, if you have it probably easier than just I've got it on this. Um, I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so you can see a little better. Uh, okay, how do I do that? <laughs> I don't want to close it. I'm going to lose you guys. So I'm going to zoom this camera out. Oh, I see it. So it needs to be a little bit farther away so that you can see better there. So now I've got, I'm just going to do, why not three strands? And this is going to last me a long time. And I'll probably use it in today's project. But if you have micro pore tape, but if you don't, I think masking tape would work, you know, just plain masking tape. You can use that. But this micropore is fabulous. So I thought I'd share this with you. But if you just have masking tape, you can do this too. Or even existing washing tape that you don't really like that much. You know, like you might have a pattern, just think, eh, you know, it isn't so pretty. Like there's a pattern here I'm not really that fond of. It's kind of eh, sort of iffy. I'm going to put it on and I'm just going to decorate it myself. Just going to give, putting it right here on there as well. So I'm putting it on the nonstick sheet. And now I've got some stuff to work with. Another thing you'll need is um, you'll need 
if you have it. It doesn't matter if you, if you don't have it, that's okay. You can just create marks with your brush. But I have these little detail stencils. These little, I don't use them that often because they're so detailed, but they're gonna be great to put on top of the tape. So they're just gonna make, to, to, I'm just gonna use them to make patterns on the, on the tape here. Um, another thing, if you don't have something, a stiff brush or a stencil brush or a stiff bristle brush, something that's going to have some fibers so you can pounce the color into the uh, tape into the, through the stencil. Um, if you don't have, uh, like I said, if you don't have stencils, you can just use, just make brush strokes and we can do, I'll show you that too. So um, I'm using tubed paints because tubed paints will have are heavier bodied and they're great for putting through stencils. I just picked out some of my favorite colors. Um, you can use any any acrylics that you have in a tube. Here's some here. Um, the fluids are okay, but what happens with the fluids is they don't really make a sharp impression through the, um, they just kind of leak through, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, so then what I have is just a little palette just to uh, put some paint on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put some paint, squeeze some paint out on my palette. Just a little, I don't wanna overdo it. Oops, this one's never been used, I'll be darned. That's a first. Okay, so I've got a little tube. This is a matte acrylic and I think it's really pretty because it doesn't dry plasticky and shiny. Whatever you have in your stash is what you wanna get. Not, we don't wanna over, you know, whatever you have. Any kind of acrylic paints, your craft paints will work. There's some really dark blue, it's like a beautiful, midnight blue i don't know that's gorgeous this is these are very opaque this is called prussian blue very nice and i obviously don't use these very much because i don't paint large scale paintings anymore but it's really hard for me to give up my tubed paints because you never know which when you need them now this one it's a little darker purple i'm just going to put a little bit of that in and then i'm going to use the golds and the other colors afterwards to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and stencil. I really should have a, ba a barrier paper <laughs> under this because I might get messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this little pad. This is a one of those um, Strathmore palette pads. I love these. I'm also going to just tear off a piece just to have as a barrier paper. That may also work for your um, to put some tape on. It may not stick to the tape. So I'm just putting that behind so I don't mess up my table. And I'm gonna just put some, I'm just gonna lay some um, patterns down. So I'm gonna try this one here, this really, this patterned piece here. And I'm just gonna put it over, starting with maybe the medium blue. And I'm just gonna use, now to do a stencil, through a stencil, you would just dry amounts. You don't want it to be really wet and globby. And this micro pore tape I notice is very, it's translucent. And I'm just, so I'm just kind of, and it really absorbs the paint very uh, heavily. It's amazing. I mean, I, when I tried it this morning, I couldn't believe it. So it does take a lot of the, it does absorb a lot. Um, you can, what's nice, the beauty about it is that it, um, you'll, when you're putting the paint on, it actually, um, stays the parts that you don't paint stay translucent so it's really this is the brush that i've never used before and it's got hairs going everywhere so i'm just going to go over with this medium blue and this is where you need a little muscle you got to kind of you know pound that and then i might throw in i'm just going to put some lighter blue just because i want to throw in some light blue this is a Kind of a fluid acrylic so i'm going to mix it a little bit with the medium so that's not so runny and then that gives me another tone of blue and i'm only going to go over the taped area the taped areas i don't want to paint over the whole the whole thing but that's just so you'll see and you kind of have to really work muscle in there <laughs> it's very gonna get that muscle going exercise not only are we making stuff we're exercising so it's going over the existing washi tape very nicely, and it's so it's soaking into my um, micro pore tape. So I'm just going to lift it, and you'll see there's a pattern. 
very nice pattern and i'll just continue throughout the same thing i'm just going to kind of lay it down and use the same stencil so you can just have one stencil you don't need a bunch um, but like i said if you don't have a stencil no worries just use um, what you've got or just make brush strokes kind of just random brush strokes over your over your uh, tape this actually just makes the most gorgeous tape. I couldn't believe it after this morning. I couldn't believe how gorgeous this tape was and and how beautiful it looked when I was finished. So I, that's why I really wanted to share. It was kind of not, wasn't my intention when I was planning this class, but you know, sometimes you just make discoveries last minute and you wanna share them. So that is why we're doing this now. And if you if you kind of weren't prepared because I didn't warn you very far ahead, um, you still have if you have washi tape, gather your washi tapes if you have them, and if not, make some with me like this, and then we'll do the next project. So how pretty that looks! Just really simple, and I don't have to do a lot more to it. I'm going to just lay this down one more time and put my colors down. And if I want to do more layers than this, I certainly can, and I think I will, maybe with some metallics, because the metallics are so gorgeous. Um, but I am really putting a lot of, I'm not adding any water to my brush at all. This is just really like super um, concentrated, but I'm keeping it kind of thin. I'm not, I don't want it glumpy. I don't want it to be raised through the, um, you don't want it to be uh, thick, too thick. So I think I've got that covered pretty well. I'm gonna make sure I got this little guy over here and maybe on this part. Okay, so I'm gonna lift it up. I can pull it up. And I've got a really nice, pretty nice. And I think what I'll do now is maybe add just some more for some light color maybe. Um, I've got this pearl pink that's real pretty, a pearl gold. I've got this silver I thought might be kind of fun too. Maybe a blue, it might be interesting to throw this silver onto that light blue. I'm not gonna change, um, just gonna make a very, there we go. Nice light paste of a silvery blue color. And then I'm gonna use a different stencil just to, just to give something, just gonna lay right over it and and this time I'm going to go a lot lighter. Just kind of laying that in there and so I'll see what it looks like when I lift it up. Okay, so I've got one layer on that one, just kind of scrubbing over it. You can be really rough with it too. <laughs> so let's see how this looks. I love it. I love the layer, the second layer. It looks really interesting. So that it's going to be fun. So now I'm just going to turn the stencil over and just lay it on. And I'm going to do the second layer. I can actually it'd be fun to do a pearl color too, that pearl pink. But we'll stick with blues for now. And that silver is really pretty. I'm just going to scrub it and try to go as fast as I can because I don't. I have more I want to show you. I'll just use that blue as much as I can just get another layer on top and this silver is so pretty this is a matte silver and it's so rich whatever you've got these paints aren't cheap <laughs> like um but they're so gorgeous and when I was painting larger paintings these were beautiful paint paints but you don't have to have expensive paints by all means Bargaining is better, especially for this kind of technique. You just really, you're not trying to, wow, look at that. I don't know if you see that, but on my, what I'm seeing is a, just a really shimmery kind of color on top of the darker colors. I'm just gonna scrub it on, put a little blue in there. Okay, so you're probably wondering how, do you, you know, how am I going to get this stuff off? <laughs> the, how am I going to store this tape once it's dry? Uh, and there is a wonderful way. If you have an old hotel key, old credit card, um, something that's smooth, you don't want it to have a, you know, raised areas. There we go. I'm just going to see how that looks now. Ooh, fun. So there is a little bit of ra raised 
it's happening a little bit where there's the area is raised a little and I think that's pretty neat. It's actually, I'm gonna put that purple in there too. Scrubbing it in and just really using my, my muscle to get that in. And there's a little purple so you could, if I wanted to add a little more purple somewhere else just to make it kind of consistent, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just using the same, pretty much the same stencil, or you can use one or two. With anything with small print seems to be really work, it seems to work really well, or small cutouts, small openings. And I'll even do a little more purple right on this edge, just to kind of give it some consistency there. There, I've got the purple going in, in most of it, maybe a little bit in here too. So what I need to do is let this dry. This is the, the part that is like, okay, patience, you gotta have to let this dry. So I've got some pretty neat stuff going on here. I could, I could keep going. I could add, I thought this stencil was kind of cool, but I think I'll stop right here. Or the last step is I can add a little bit of this beautiful, maybe, I think this would be beautiful, right? I'm gonna start in the middle. I've got this pearl pink. It says it's called pearl pink. So I've never used this um, like in this way before. So I'll see how it goes. And I'm going to use a different stencil brush because I have so much blue on it. But I could, you know, try to wipe it up, but I'm just going to stick that aside. And I'm going to use a different brush. And I'm going to put some of this pearl pink. Oh, yeah. That's like a, it's very pretty. Kind of an interference color or something. And I really want to get into those grooves or the parts of the stencil to really get it in there. Don't need to use much paint. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that too. I don't know if you can see it. So I'll throw, I'll put some of that pearl pink and the rest of it. And just then that will be the end of it. It's actually going to look a lot better once I take off the tape. Just need to all the way cover that whole thing. Maybe one more time, I'll bring over a little bit more of that pink. Where are you? There. So this is a fun, you know, just fun to make your own tapes if you have that 3M tape or masking tape, any kind of thin tape that you might have laying around. Not scotch tape, because scotch tape is too uh, transparent, but you could probably use the uh, matte, the uh, non-shiny, you know, the invisible tape might work as well. So I just finished doing that, and now I'm going to set this into my, well, oh yeah, that's going to look pretty. One more little spot I see I want to do. Maybe a little silver because I have some left. You know, use whatever paint you have left. If you have some, their silver looks really pretty. And then just kind of fill in the areas that look like they need a little help. So there it is. I'm going to put those stencils in my little bath, in my cat litter wash bath. <laughs> And then I'll put this, I'm going to set this aside to let it dry. And then I'm going to show you the next, the project that we're going to do. This is going to just needs a few minutes. It doesn't need very long at all to, to get going. So, um, you know, maybe five minutes or 10 minutes, maybe. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you my, the first thing that we're going to do. If you have, you'll need, um, some, I have some scrap papers that are on the medium. They're on the medium side. They're not real heavy, but they're not real light. So it's a little thicker than copy paper. So, or even like if you have some heavyweight drawing paper or some Bristol, you know, something with some weight to it. That's what we're gonna use to hold the washi tape. So I'm gonna set this aside, let that dry. Um, so we can, doesn't matter which side you use. Since washi tape is generally translucent, you're going to see the pattern underneath. So I'm going to just do my first project here. I'm going to grab some reds because I haven't done that yet. That's good to keep your tapes in color, like I mentioned, color um, arrangement. If you're going to use, you could have, you know, darks and lights. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to just throw down, and someone, um, there's an artist, her name is Mary Beth Shaw. She actually called, I saw her do this. It's called the washi tape slap down. That's what she called it. And I'm going to just wash my fingers off, get all the paint off for a sec. So get my, so my hands don't get paint all over them. 
Okay. So what she did is she takes her washi tape collection. She had a huge collection, more than I do. And um, she just took pieces of it and just slapped it down onto the paper in, in, a, in a, a kind of a random fashion. And then she laid a open stencil on top and cut around it. And I'll show, I'll show you how. So let's take, I'm just gonna do reds and purples and pinks this time. So for this, and I'm gonna do small pieces. They don't have to be big. So just little small pieces. And you just start putting it down on your paper in any like in crisscross kind of overlapping. Small pieces are probably better than large. I'm just going to kind of cover it and I see some of the image underneath showing and that's fine because that's whatever color you have that's also going to show. I'm just going to lay it like this in different and I want to have no wrinkles in it. I want to keep it smooth so I'm just putting it uh, flat and just tearing it and this paint this particular tape here is really weird. So I'm trying to just get straight basically straight uh, pieces. But you want to basically we're going to do this we're going to take this tape and just randomly put it down but you're going to cover pretty much the surface area not the whole thing but enough at least if you have a stencil like that little bird which i'll show you the stencil i made um, using that image i sent you this i cut out of some stencil film but you can cut it out of paper anything you want um that what i do we're going to use is the opening of that so I kind of have to remember that this is going to be the area, you know, that I'm going to be uh, cutting out. So I'm just going to put tape everywhere, starting with my base layer. I'm just going to smack it down. And then I'm going to pick some other colors, just because I've got them and I'm going to just do it. So these are very muted colors so far. I'm hoping I'll add something more interesting as I go. But you just, we're just putting these down until the whole thing is covered. Short pieces, short and different lengths. And just make sure, and if you have a bone folder or something like that, like to you know, something to smooth your, um, to keep those edges from lifting, you might want to go ahead and, you know, do that. And if they do lift, just tear it off like a couple of them here. There we go. Just make, them, make sure it's smooth. If you want to put some metallics, like this is a gold, Sometimes those gold um, stuff with gold on it. This is a just some. I think I don't know where I got it. Maybe Amazon. Just little bits and pieces of and put them in different directions. And they're going to layer, and it's going to get thicker, a little bit thicker than the paper, of course, because you're building layers on top on top of your uh, paper. So that so you, even if it's fairly thin paper, you're still going to get a little thicker than you if you were just because of the layers. So um, I see some other color I thought would be fun or something I've never used. It's some goldfish tape. I've never used it before. And it kind of has some blues, sort of a pale blue. And I'm just going to keep going until I get this whole paper covered. Let's see. There's some red, different widths. We can get this started. Come on. This is some paper from, well, this is washi tape from Japan. And I love it, but I got to find the, it's so thin. I can't find the little thing. Let's see if I can. And washi tape does have a, um, some, some washi tapes, the adhesive kind of gets old or something. And it just doesn't, you may not be able to find, no, that's not, I can't find the end of that. <laughs> I know I could find it eventually. Let's see if I can find the end. Yep, I found the end on that one. So I'm just going to, this has a little bit of gold in it. So I'll just go ahead and I've got to start seeing where I've got to put down. I've got to cover up my places that are, that are just a scrap of paper. We don't want, I don't want that. I want to cover the whole thing. And then maybe some wider. Here's one that's a little bit wider. And what's going to happen is all these little layers are going to just kind of pop through each other. It makes for a really interesting thing. And I'm not sure if I like these colors, but I'm, you know, they're kind of muted, but, you know, I'm kind of used to the um, bolder colors, but that's all right. We'll see how it looks. Maybe what I could do is add some darker tape 
a little bit darker so I can have a little more contrast. Whatever you've got, just pull it out and try it and slap it down. And we'll just see what happens until we get the whole surface of your, you know, as much at least of the area that you're going to be um, where your stencil is going to be. And some of these tapes also, I'm noticing, have less tack than others. So I'm noticing that the Scotch, you know, duct tape, duct brand, they, those are some sticky tapes. And so that just, if you want to do this, Scotch, this stuff is available at Walmart or any, you know, office supply. And they, I like it because it's a lot stickier than some of the stuff coming out of uh, Japan or China, especially, yeah, Japan. Well, Japan has some nice washi tape, but you just never know what you're going to get <laughs> when you get it from China. So I cut most of it down and I'm going to, I love this little lace pattern. This is a duct tape. It looks like a, it's translucent and the only it looks like beautiful lace and I love that and then i'm going to throw a little bit of. Um, these this metallic kind of oh maybe some dots here i'll move i'm going to go to this, this is also I think I bought this on. This was an amazon buy but it doesn't have much stick to it, I noticed. But intermixing a little bit of your metallics with your. Um, flat colors your mousy colors I call them mousy colors they're not really that fun but boy they're they're beautiful once you've once you kind of mix them with your um, more jewel tone colors so there's the that and I think I may have enough I may um I can add some more of this there's a little pretty color I like this it's kind of a light pink blue color I'm just trying to get all these spots done and once I got it, then I can show you the next step. Okay, I think that's enough. Got pretty much everything covered that needs to be covered. And then what I could do is maybe take a barrier paper or something and kind of burnish it down so that you all of your tape is really stuck on there. So there, it's nice and stuck on there. So now I'm going to turn it over and I can decide you know, I kind of have an idea what it's, I want it to look like. So I'm just going to lay it down on the back. I've got, I want to make sure that I've got the, where the tape is. That's where I want my stencil. I don't want it to be, so you can arrange it just as long as you have, you know that your tape is going to be inside these. Now you could take a, um, a pencil and just draw around the stencil like this, but I want to show you a way that's even easier. Just, it's so much easier <laughs> to, to do this. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a little black stamp pad. A pencil's fine if you want to trace, though, no problem. But here's something that, that I love doing. I've got a black pen, a black um, stamp pad. It can be any stamp pad. And all I'm doing is this is just whoops, I don't want it to move. <laughs> is I'm actually creating a beautiful um, silhouette that I can easily cut out, and it didn't take me long. And now I've got this perfect silhouette that I can cut out. Um, much easier than if I tr traced around. So I'm going to take my scissors and got my scissors and now I'm just going to go and cut around the design and I'm not going to look at the design until I'm finished cutting which makes it a fun surprise so how you know nice sharp pair of scissors you don't need uh, anything fancy and I'm just kind of going around now here. Now to, I'm just going to go around the feet right now, and then I'll get to the other part in a minute. And here, I'm just going to cut right around. If you have an X-Acto knife, you could use that, but I think an X-Acto knife, knife might be difficult to go through all those layers of tape. So I can feel I'm going through the layers of tape right now. And I'm just going to go around my silhouette. Or if you drew it with a piece, you know, with a pencil, that's fine. I can see this easier. These old eyes, sometimes you just need a little extra help. <laughs> Plus, it kind of looks finished, more finished on the back when you do it this way. It kind of covers up that scrapbook paper design a little bit. And then the next thing is I'm going to do the details of the, of the uh, little feet. And I'll pull those little corners out. 
it's harder to get to get detail, but you can do it. You just have to work it. There. And here, it's going to go around the little legs. And I'm going to cut, I don't want to cut through it. Here, now I'm going to just do this little part here. And then I'll just yank that little piece out. Now all these other pieces that you have are not wasted. You can still make things, and I'm going to show you that as well. So, um, but this is there's so much fun. I had so much fun figuring this out and then making the, my first little um, little embellishment, which you can use for your art journals. You can put them in your your um, on cards. There we go. So there it is. I just peeled off some of my tape. There we go. If that happens, which I just did, I tore my sticky fingers. I tore off some tape, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so just to show you can see, there's the little bird. I think it came out so cute with the little hints of gold. And this little part, it came off. And I'm going to show you what. Um, don't you don't want to lose these? I'll, I've been able to cut. I'll just cut some leaves out, but I'll want to show you here where this tape came off. There's no way I'm going to put on. It's actually just one layer of tape, but I'm not going to try to fix that. But what I will do is I'm going to show you a little thing that you can do to kind of enhance this area or cover, or you can use paints or whatever you want. But I'm going to use this same thing I used with uh, to make that silhouette. I'm just going to put a little bit of that black just on some of the, just to kind of border it, like maybe just edge it just a little bit. Now you can also do that by taking your the side of your uh, your bird and just kind of ru running it along a, a black stamp pad. Um, there's a little tiny blender. If you have just a little makeup sponge or just a little sponge, you can actually create. You can give it dimension. And I'm just going to go around with my with just with a little just on the edge only. I'm not trying to uh, cover the whole thing. But I'm just kind of creating a focal, and I'm just kind of giving it dimension, and fin it kind of finishes it. Especially if you have light areas of your um, bird. There we go. That's probably enough. So now, when you see it, I'm gonna close this up. This is a pigmented stamp pad, by the way. Um, I love it. I just only you have black. I don't. You, I used to have stamp pads in every color, but I figured that black is usually the one I use the most. So there is my finished little bird that I can stick, um, which I think would be fun to stick in a journal. Like here, I've got a page that desperately needs something. So here's a page. And what I could do is stick my bird in a journal. And then, you know, by, and if it's still not contrasty enough, I can do a little like a light colored background, a little bit lighter. If the bird was going a different direction, I could put it on this side, which I think would be really pretty. Now you can reverse the, um, you can make your birds go in any direction depending on which side of the stencil you use. So uh, I think these are really fun. And then just hang on to them and put them away for, for using in the future. Now I'm gonna show you something. Oh, before I do that, I wanna show you, with what you do with those scraps, because all that work we had, you know, we don't want to just waste it. So I love that bird, so I'm going to set that aside. And now I see opportunities here where I could use these, and I'm not going to draw on them, but you could, if you wanted to draw on the back, I'm just going to show you. If you wanted to draw a leaf shape, because leaves are, there's a pencil. I'm just going to, I see where the, the tape is, it's in this area. So you can draw the leaf shape like that, or you can just cut it out freehand. So I'm going to do it without, I'm just going to do the drawn one and I'll show you how it looks, but also you can just cut it out freehand because, you know, leaves, just like hearts, leaves are pretty easy to do, but if you want to have a stencil of a leaf, that would work too. And now I'm just going to cut around. And these are really easy to do. There's my leaf and I've got this gorgeous leaf um, shape here. And let's see what else I've got. I don't wanna waste anything. That's pretty much finished. So I can do, take this one and I see, I'll just start cutting just kind of where I see the opportunity to do it. Like here, 
I can just take a leaf, make a little bit bigger leaf because I have more room. I'm just going to come take this around and just yeah, like that. So you can see, well, you know, you don't want to waste it. You can just create these gorgeous leaves out of the taped collage, whatever this is called, <laughs> the smack or the sm slap down tape, washi tape collage. I guess we can call it that. I think that's probably more accurate, right? It's a washi tape collage. And now I'm just gonna cut my leaves out and I'm really kind of just using my scissors as my drawing tool. But like I said, you can also be, you know, you can plan them and draw, draw it out. If you find that your tape comes up, um, I'll show you a trick for that too. So I'm gonna cut a big leaf here cause I've got the room, a nice long one. There we go. I'm just gonna, Make that kind of big. And now what happens is some of the tapes, like I said, are less, there's more stick on some of them than others. Like this one, the tape's just coming off, but that's still some layer underneath. Now, what you could do if to seal these, and I did this with some of mine, like this butterfly, which was from a stencil, this little stencil that I had, and I cut it out. What I did was I took some gel, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. It is this matte medium. You know, you can use any matte medium, just like a one that's a little on the thicker side, not your, not your typical medium, but you can put, you can use your fingers or just brush it on and it gives a little texture, but it also seals the tape really well. So that's what I use to, to seal those. And I've got all these beautiful little things, but I wanted to look at all those pretty, pretty things. And I'm gonna put those aside and I will be able to use those for future. So here we are. Now, here's what I want to show you on this. This is now dry, perfectly dry. And it's on my little nonstick sheet. And I got to show you, uh, this was a brilliant way of storing these or of saving these. You've got everybody probably, if you've traveled any, you get these keys, right? These little hotel keys. Um, credit cards won't work because the credit card has a bumpy, you know, thing on it. But ain't like something like this, a hotel key, something plastic. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take off, it's just gonna come right off and it's beautiful how it comes off. And it's nice and translucent. It's a gorgeous tape. Now I've got this beautiful handmade tape that I'm going to put on and I'm just gonna wrap it around. There you go. Now I'm gonna store it on my card and that will not stick to itself. This Tape is beautiful for that. So you can just roll it around your card and then use it for future. I can also cut this down. There we go. So there's one piece. And then I'll just take the other one off. And this, if I had to get a boo-boo, I'd have pretty tape now. If I had a boo-boo and I needed to use it with micro pour. It's so pretty. It's very, um, it's really gorgeous. So, and I'll show you how we can use it also in one of these, uh, collage or one of these little embellishments. I'm just rolling it on really easy and it doesn't, it's just fabulous tape. So if you don't have it, I urge you to get some. Um, any, even in your, you know, in the store at Walmart or Walgreens, they're going to have rolls of this stuff. And, but you want the 3M, I think you'd be better. You'd be happier with the 3M. So now I've got my little tapes rolled, ready to use at any time sitting on my little card. I'm gonna set this aside. So now I'm gonna do another little smack down. I'm gonna use this green tape here or this green. So I can use the tape I did earlier, which is mostly blues and maybe a combination of these. So um, here I can find out where I ended it. <laughs> this was done earlier and I don't even know. Like for some reason my eyes don't see where I started that, but I do see this one. I see that part. So I'll pull, peel this off and I can do use it the same way I would my tape. I'm just gonna take it and tear it and smack it down or slap it down as they call it. It's, and it's actually more um, sticky. It has a better tack than the, than the washi tape that I use. So I think it's gonna be more fun to use. Plus it's tape or it's tape that I have painted myself. So it's totally original. 
I've got a little this tape when it does it does stick to itself really well so i've got this big lump and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut that out because i don't want it that lump in my final piece i'm just going to tear off some pieces here just do the same thing this time i won't go as big and it's got a nice it just lays down so nice Going to use the whole thing because I want you to see you, with just your homemade tape how wonderful this will, will look. And I'll put this over here. And I like that it's translucent and it's kind of matte finished. Here's the stuff I just made. I'm put some of that down. Oh, yeah. And there's a little texture to it with the acrylic thick. Um, with that, I feel this nice texture. And the color with the metallics, it really added, it kind of added something. So I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm just going to keep doing it until I cover the, until I cover the whole surface. And I'm just layering. And if it gets wrinkly like this, um, maybe it's not a big deal, I guess. <laughs> I'm kind of going really fast. There we go. Now what I could do is it's got this gorgeous tape. Oops. I'm gonna make sure it's getting stays on there. And I'll throw a little piece here. And what I could do is add some of my some metallic. I think it would really be pretty some of this polka dot or what else could I put there? Something more in the golds whatever you've got but i'm just trying to find a gold something with more gold i've got this stuff which i think is pretty i'll throw that on this time i'll just do small little bits and i'm going to cover up areas that i see are where the paper is kind of showing through like that i really love having the metallic i think that really adds and then if I wanted to layer over that, I've got some more of this, which I can't find the beginning of. That's <laughs> funny. It's just not there. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. All right, well, I have another roll. I see the beginning of that one. But this is really a nice way to do it. You've got, um, you basically have, you can make your own tape. I love this. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill in some spaces here. That I see need a little filling. And then I think I'm going to be done. There. All right. Pretty much done. Maybe one more spot right there. Okay. So it's nice and firmly down. And then I could do the butterfly. Do you think it would be pretty? Or I can do my bird. I like the birds. I think they're really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and do another bird. I notice as I lay it down, I notice that some of my gold, not very much of my gold is showing. So just because I like that gold, I'm going to throw a few more pieces down. That's how you can kind of design it a little bit, even though, you know, <laughs> you, you're not really, it's, it's a good way to just throw it in. Okay, there, so I've got more of that gold showing, and I like that a lot. No matter where I put it, it's going to be there. So now I'm just going to put this time in a different um, last time. I think what I what did I do last time? I think I had it in this direction. Let's see. You can. OK, so if I want to put it in this, I don't know. OK, I'm just going to do it. OK, same thing. Um, this time I'm going to just trace it so you can see if you want to trace, you can do that. But really, it takes much more time. I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just hold down the stencil very firmly. If you want to tape it down, you can do that. This will just give me an instant silhouette that I can see and I won't need to draw on it much quicker. There it is. And then I'll cut it out. So that's, and then you can change the wing. You can change the shape of your, of your tail. You can do, you know, kind of customize your bird. You can make it skinnier if you want, just by the way you're cutting it. Um, 
you know, a little bit, maybe just change it up a little bit just to make it look different from the other bird. Or if you have other, you can make more stencils. Or if you have other little creatures, you can um, do that. I have a dog stencil. I think that would be fun to do a dog. And I just, for some reason, these birds are just fun and they're one of a kind. It's not, you can't get these, this bird anywhere else, but right here in our Mixed Media Monday class, because that bird was just created um, this morning. So what was it, what was it last? No, it was yesterday. It wasn't this morning. So there we go. I'm just going to kind of wiggle the tail a little so it's a little different. And so I can see now how that looks, that design looks. I think it's really pretty. And then I'm just going to cut these little details out. They don't have to be, you know, followed perfectly. I'm finding too that the scissors, you know, um, a lot of people cut these little miniature or delicate cuts with, with uh, embroidery scissors or really small scissors. But what I think works better are bigger scissors because you can actually get, you can cut, you can see I'm using the inside of the scissor, not the tip. So the more inside um, area you have on your scissors, the easier it is to make these kind of uh, delicate cuts and there it doesn't take as long as if you were using a pair of embroidery scissors and that would just take forever but a good pair of scissors that have long long um pieces there you go and then the very last part is i will probably take a little matte medium like i'll just go ahead and do this real quick i'll stick this i'll even use my fingers this time so it's that you know just put a little matte medium over your finished bird and then let it dry and you could make it textural too you can put you know you can use make it have texture if you have a thicker you know heavy bodied medium and then that's sealing the tape up it's not going to go anywhere from here on and i'll just let that sit for whatever amount of time i need to have it sit probably maybe with the matte medium maybe 20 minutes or so or 30 minutes and it's always good to peel off get your um get it off of the backing before you you know while it's still wet because if you don't it will uh it'll stick and tear and it'll be a mess so there it is there is our washi tape oh this i wanted to show you too quickly is the washi tape that i didn't like the color much you know i just thought it was kind of icky i'll show you what that looks like and i like it it's now really pretty different looking and i can use that i'll do the same thing with the card i'll just Take it and add it to my, I'll move that. I'll just stick it to my card, my clear card. Same thing that I did before. And then that's a way that I can store it for future use. And it's ready to go. It's a lot more interesting looking than the, and of course I could have spent more time on this tape, but now I have a, a custom colored tape that I can use for all kinds of things. And it's ready for me to, to use just by doing that. And I thought that was very clever. And that was from one of the YouTube videos I shared with you this morning, where the person, the lady had done it that way. And I just thought it was so clever. <laughs> so I just want to see how everybody's doing today. I'm going to stop the recording.